Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. Today, I thought we'd look at embeddings in Comfy UI. So what we can do, we can have a look and see what are embeddings, where can we find them, how to install them, and how do we load them to use them in Comfy UI. Then I'll do a quick demo. I've got a couple of um, embeddings in mind and we'll just add them to this very basic workflow. So um, let's uh, cue a whoosh and move on. So what are embeddings? Well, embeddings are really very similar to LoRa's. They are mini models. And um, in fact, embeddings will be even smaller than, than LoRa's. And they will have usually a specific task to enhance or embellish um, your main model which for our purposes today, we'll be using the SDXL model. But yeah, so that's what they are. So they are very small models, very similar to LoRa's, and they will make um, small adjustments to your image generated via your um, main model. Okay, so to obtain embeddings, um, what you do is you go across to um, Civit AI, Com, and we're here now at their homepage. And what I do um, to get to the embeddings or to any of the models really, um, click on the models. Once you've done that, um, come across to filters, select filters, and you'll see here under model types, um, you can select embedding. Once you've done that, come down to the base models and select the base models that you're interested in. So for myself, I'm interested in Stable Diffusion 1.5 and Stable Diffusion XL. So once you press that, they will immediately filter for you. So let me just click away from that to get rid of those filters. And so all these images that we see in front of us should pretty much relate to embeddings. And we can confirm that by seeing that the word embedding is in the top left corner. Now the two embeddings that we're going to be looking at in this demo is over here we have the Atom Punk um, embedding. And if I just scroll down a bit further, hopefully, oh yeah, over here, we have the Style Paint Magic embedding. And these are the two that we're gonna use um, in a moment. So let's just go back to the first one very quickly and just run through the main points. So I'll click into it. And what we have here, so um, first of all, we've got some um, text here that will give us some any um, information that we need, prompts, etc., advice. Um, over on the right hand side, we have under the base model confirms which model this embedding was trained against. And we can see here that this was Stable Diffusion 1.5. However, uh, quite often um, it'll work with other models. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I'm going to be using it against SDXL and um, we'll see what happens. Now below the base model, we've got trigger words and you need to make a note of those words if you're going to use this embedding. So, and below that, come down a little bit further. This is where we see the um, author's name for, for this embedding. Okay, and if we scroll down a little bit further, we should see some examples of images that have had this embedding applied to them. So that's the first one. Atom Punk embedding. Let's go back to the filter page. Okay, come down and have a quick look at Style Paint Magic. Okay, same thing, just have a quick look, see if there's any text that we need to read, any, any hints, prompts, etc. Come across on the right hand side, we can see if we look at the base model, we can see it again, this has been. Um, built against Stable Diffusion 1.5. It's been trained on rather Stable Diffusion 1.5. And the trigger word is here as well. And if we scroll down, we'll see some very colorful examples of this embedding being used. So there we are. So this is how to get hold of embeddings. So to install an embedding into Comfy UI, first of all, once you've chosen your embedding you want, come down to the up to the download icon. Click on that. And this within uh, Windows 11, this will download the file to your 
downloads folder. So um, download your file. And then when you've done that, go into Windows Explorer, go to your downloads, find your file, um, either copy and paste or cut and paste, and come across to your Comfy UI folder. Once in Comfy UI, you want to select models. Once in models, you'll find you've got your embeddings folder there. Click into that and simply paste your file in there. You'll notice that the embeddings um, has a suffix of .pt. That's normal. Yep, so just download your file into that location. Now to um, load an embedding, um, the most common way is, is that you add um, the details into your prompt, if you're pros your positive, into your positive prompt or a negative prompt. There are such things as negative embeddings. Um, so, and you'll see when you look on the um, Civit AI page for embeddings, it'll tell you if it is a negative um, embedding. If it is, um, the loading um, plan is exactly the same. You just put it into the negative prompt rather than the positive prompt. However, the two ones that we're looking at today are positive prompts. So to load, if we have a look at this second group here, to load an embedding, what you do is um, I've added one to this group here. And in fact, if I bring it up in my notepad, you'll be able to see it a bit clearer. So the first embedding that we're going to, to look at in a moment is this one here. And what you need to do is you've already downloaded your embedding and then to actually use it um, in your prompt, whether it be positive or negative, as I mentioned earlier, um, what you need to do is type a bracket, parenthesis, if you went to public school, and then a colon, and then type in the file name for your embedding, put another uh, colon, and then the strength that you want to use. So you can see here that I'm using a strength of two, and then you close the bracket. After that, well, this is how I do it. I do a comma, and then I add the um, trigger word. And that's all you should need to do to um, load and use an embedding. Now I have seen some examples looking at some of the example pictures that we saw a few moments ago, that some people, when they do this, they do the, the bracket, but they leave out the word embedding colon and go straight into the file name and the strength and then close it with the bracket. However, this was the way that I was shown and um, this, way, this way certainly works for me. So this is, this is how I'm going to, to do it. Sorry, I just thought there was a space there, but there's not. Okay, so that's what you need to do. So bracket, embedding, colon, file name, colon, strength, close the bracket, comma, space, and the trigger word. So let's go back to our workflow and we'll take a quick look um, around this and then we'll, uh, we'll try applying a couple of embeddings. For my workflow, I have just used, um, I've created two groups and in each group is just the standard load default, um, which gives you the nodes that you need for a text to image. And I've just done that twice. Um, I've had a little um, note, some notes here, but that's all we've got here. So this is standard text to image in the, and um, both of the um, positive prompts, I have added this prompt here uh, without these embeddings here yet. So I have added this description of what we want to um, load as our first image. And if I just come away from that for a second, and I have run this already on the first group, and this is the image that we get. So no whistles and bells, not the greatest of images, I'll, I'll admit to that. Um, but I really was more interested in seeing what the, um, what differences the embeddings would apply. So let's take a look at this one. So this was just to give me something to this first group was just to give me the base image to compare to. And I'm just going to disable that now. I just wanted to be able to see what this first one would look like. 
Um, so let's just quickly disable that by selecting set group nodes to never. Okay, so we can still roughly see what the picture is that we had originally. Now in group two, I have the exact same text, but I have added the first of those two embeddings, which was the atom punk. And if we just very quickly um, come here, that's this one here that we saw. So embedding atom punk style SD15 colon two, close brackets, etc. etc. And the um, trigger word that is needed. So that line has now been added to, to this first description on this second group. So let's um, run this and see what we get. So select Q prompt. Okay, so we now have our image and uh, let's just take a quick look at that. We can already see what a difference we have from this very small file. Um, and this, so it's very much poster style, um, which is a particular genre that I'm very interested in. And what I find really quite nice, most of the poster style type stuff that you get um, within Comfy UI tends to have, um, is obliterated with text and stuff. And so this um, embedding, um, I think is, is really quite good. But you can see well, what a difference that um, small file, that embedding has made to that um, original image that we saw up there. That's, that's really quite, quite something. I think that's um, had a stronger reaction than many of the Lauras that I've, I've played with. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this so far. So that's the first um, embedding, the Atom Punk, was it Atom Punk? Let's now add the, um, I'm going to add a second embedding now on top of this, which was the, um, paint magic. So I'm just going to come across here to my, my little notes that I've made for myself. And hopefully if I get this copied and pasted correctly, Mongo, let's just try that. I'm now going to, let's just add a comma there. I'm going to come down onto a free line. And there we go. Um, Okay, before I run this instantly, I, I have seen a couple of people have recommended have recommended with embeddings that you put the embedding at the very front of the prompt. I haven't um, found it necess uh, necessary to do that, and I prefer to have them at the bottom um, so I so they stand out more clearly to me because I keep forgetting, particularly with, with Laura's and things, keep forgetting to add trigger words and things in. So I do it at the bottom, but for me so far that has worked so some people say put them first i'm not going to there we go so we now have this second um embedding let's just very quickly go back to that text so we're now looking at this just to make it a little easier for you so bracket embedding colon the name of the embedding colon um and the strength which on um, for this one, I'm using 1.5, close the bracket, give it a comma and a space, and then the trigger word, which is style hyphen paint magic. So that's what we've done. Let's give this a go now and see if that works for us. So we've got two embeddings on top of the original image. Hopefully is what we'll end up with. So let's go Q prompt for the last time. Okay, so we now have our final image. Um, I do find it interesting when I'm watching this um, load that on the preview screen that you get on the case sampler, the colors do not um, obviously come out as strong. And I was watching this thing, oh, this isn't going to work. But the let's just have a look at the final image. The strength of color that we now have in this image, that has come from the second embedding. So um, I think that's quite, um, it works for me. I think it's quite impressive. And for such a little file to be able to do um, so much work, um, I think that's pretty clever. So let's just um, close that down. So yeah, so we've seen there two embeddings added to um, an image. We've seen that we can get embeddings from civitai.com, just filter down to get to the embedding pages, um, download them to your computer from there. 
copy them across into your Comfy UI models embeddings folder. And then when you want to use them, either in um, your positive prompt, if it's a positive embedding or a negative prompt for negative embeddings, um, just type in the um, words in the format that I've shown you. And don't forget to add the triggered words and you should be okay. Now, um, what I think I'll do is I'll just add just at the end of this video, just a couple of, um, I won't do many, a couple of variations on this just to show you, try and get, see if we can get a bit more color into some of these images. Just, and all I'll be doing to do that is changing the strength on the embeddings, um, just to show you a little bit of variation. And that's about as much as I can say about embeddings, I think. So I'll, uh, I'll um, say, um, thank you very much for your time. Um, I hope you found this useful and uh, I wish you a good day and goodbye.